What is going on guys, Dubs here, back with another RuneScape guide. Today we are going to be taking a look at Serachnus and how to defeat Serachnus. It's everyone's favorite spider boss that is not in the wilderness. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about level requirements. Uh, it's not required, but I highly recommend having at least 70 HP, 70 attack, 70 strength, and 70 defense. It's also highly recommended that you have at least 43 prayer to use the protect from melee magic and missiles. That way you can reduce the amount of damage you take during the boss fight. Let's take a look at what gear you'll need to bring for gear. You'll need a crush weapon, as Seracnus is weak to crush style. I highly recommend bringing an Abyssal Bludgeon or the Zombie Axe. Any of those are great. The new dual Makahakalitas or whatever they're called from the new Perilous Moons bosses are great too. Can't go wrong with that. So any crush weapon is great. Even the Cudgel from Seracnus will do just fine. I also recommend bringing some magic defense gear. I'll be bringing along Carol's other top and Carol's other skirt for a 120 magic defense to help reduce damage during the boss. Pharaoh's gloves, primordial boots, amulet of torture, war blessing, Natiznot's face guard, and a fire cape. I'll also be bringing along a light bearers and a dragon dagger for a spec weapon. Note that you will need to bring a knife with you. A knife will be required to slash through all of the webs entering the dungeon. If you're not bringing a dragon dagger, bring a knife, any slash weapon really, to just cut through the webs in the dungeon. Let's also talk about the inventory since we're here. As I said, I'll be bringing along a dragon dagger for specs and slashing through the webs. I'll also be bringing a divine super combat potion, three prayer pots, and filling my inventory with sharks, as well as a Xerix talisman for exiting the dungeon and quickly re-healing myself through the prayer altar and banking here. Alright, so let's talk about how to get there. You can use your Xerix Talisman to teleport you to Xerix Glade, which is the method I'll be using since it takes you directly next to the altar as well as the bank, and then you can run straight back over to the Forthos dungeon where Seracnus is located. You could also use your Xerix Talisman to teleport you to Xerix Heart for a prayer altar here and a bank over here, and then running south if you have a high level player owned house as well as a spirit tree in there you can use the spirit tree to teleport over here and then you could just run over here for a prayer altar and a bank and then running into fourth house dungeon i believe you can also enter from this side i've never done it i always enter from this way it's just easy i highly recommend everyone use the xerix talisman xerix glade te teleport to get here it just makes it easier all right, now that you know how to get there, what gear you need, and what's going to be in your inventory, let's just head over there and get a kill in, shall we? I'm going to show you the route I'll be taking from the bank. I'm just going to be running west from the bank, and then as soon as you see the bridge and the path splitting, let's follow the path to the south and not go across the bridge. And here we go, just down this staircase will take us into the dungeon run past all these little spiders in here and slash the web over here. This is why you needed to bring along a knife or a slash weapon to cut through these little webs to get into the dungeon to the boss lair. Go ahead and slash that first web and the second web and let's just keep it moving. Run past this creepy guy over here. Slash this web. There we go, and we are at the boss room over there. Let's go ahead and sip our divine super combat, protect from range and piety. Go ahead and break through the spider web and let's rush him. There's the first ranged attack, second ranged attack. Go ahead and throw on protect from melee. Got his stat, he's gonna range again. Go ahead and protect from melee right after the range. Look at that, Seracnus is already flying down. Such an easy boss. We got little spider spawns out. The spider spawns. You can ignore them if you have high HP and like higher defense. Uh, they can stack quite a bit of damage on you if you're a lower level. Uh, leave it up to you if you feel like you need to focus them. I will show you kills where I do and do not focus them. This first one, let's just stick with killing Seracnus right now. Got another set of spider spawns out. Another hiss. Let's go ahead and top off our HP through the hiss. Protect from range. Protect from melee. There we go. Seracnus is going down. 
Little by little, final hit, first kill in. And boom, what do we got? Some ruby, a grubby key, and some fucking tattered temple pages. Nice, those will actually be used for a mini quest. Or, or a side quest, I forget what they call them in this game. A little something quest. Ranged attack, rooted in place. Let's start it out weird. That's all right. We're still not taking damage, even though it's a weird kill. Let's keep it moving. On this kill, I'll show you guys what it's like to kill the little spiders. There it is, rooted in place, ranged attack. And as soon as you see the ranged attack, you do not need to, like, wait for it to hit you. As soon as you see it, you can go right back to protect from melee. Ranged attack. Boom, there it is, right back to protect from melee. You don't have to wait for it to hit you. Arachnus is almost down again. I forgot I told you guys I'd focus the mini spiders. That's going to have to be next kill. As you can tell, I don't normally focus them. It's not first nature to me. So next kill, I'll, I'll get them down for you. There's the hiss again. Moving away. I should have topped off my HP on that hiss, but that's okay. Arachnus is down. Go ahead and do a little top off. Turn off the prayers. And what do we got? 82 mithril ores. Not bad. Go ahead and pick up these sharks that are just sitting over here. Back to protect from melee and piety. We got a hiss off. Protect from range. There's the range attack. He's going to get a second range attack. how far away I was. Super easy boss. Just keeping it moving this entire time. He does not have that best defense. All right, so we got spiders out this time. I'll kill them for you. Show you what it's like. We're going to leave protect from range on. Oh, my prayer's gone. My record button is right next to where my record overlay is over where my prayer is, so I couldn't see it. Don't let your prayer go empty like mine just did, guys. He'll end up getting stacked with some damage. You could see it was coming on. All right, there we go. We're back topped off. Gonna have to watch that. And there's a hiss. Protect from range. The ranged attacks coming out. Protect from melee. This is a great entry boss for anyone just looking into start bossing and figure out what they really want to do. See if it's for them or if they're going to stick with skilling. I think Serachnus is an awesome entry level boss. Kind of puts you where your skills lie in the game a little bit. A little movement, super easy mechanics, having to prayer swap just a little bit. Oh, I forgot I told you guys I'd focus the minis this round. So we'll stay in melee range since he's right here. And I was already right there. He moved away. I'm webbed. Let's focus down the mini spiders. This one attacks with magic. The blue does. So if you do not have magic resistance gear, that blue guy will really start to tear through you. That's why I recommend bringing the Carol's leather top and bottom for it. And we're about to finish off another kill on Serachnus. Boom, there it is. What do we got this time? 492 Mithril Arrows. Not bad, not bad. Just prep up for the next one right away. And here we go, right into the next kill. Got the hiss off. Webbing us. Back into melee range, good to go. There we go. We'll move that in my chat. Now I can actually see my prayer level. That's nice, isn't it? Alright, taking him down. Another hiss. We're webbed in place. Ranged attack. He moved really far away. He might get two off. Two ranged attacks. Back to protect for melee. Divine Super Combat wore out. Let's go ahead and sip that. It's essential for maintaining the damage. There it is. Ranged attack back to melees. Just taking Serachnus out with ease. We're going to ignore the spider spawns this time, guys. You saw how easy it was. We don't really need to pay attention to them. Again, if you have lower level stats, you might need to pay more attention to the spiders. It's not that big of a deal. Do not let the spiders and not being able to ignore them turn you away from doing this boss. It is totally worth getting it. Getting it down, killing him. It's some really decent money making at the beginning levels of the game. It really is. 
and hiss attack, protect from range. Another hiss, let's go ahead and top off our HP. Oh, he will heal if he hits you with melee or ranged attacks. He will heal off of it. So make sure you're praying correctly to avoid healing him. There we go. Some more items for us. We can keep killing him. We might as well. Let's just stick around for one full inventory. Show you guys what the loot looks like from one full inventory kill on him. At my level, I'm not even doing it the most efficient way possible. I'm just out here making a quick guide for you. But let's see how much loot we can end up getting from him. Another hiss attack. Throw on the protect from range again. Ranged attack. Back in melee range. So we're gonna throw on protect from melee again. If any spiders are out, just ignore them, guys. It's they're nothing to worry about. Like I said. There it is. There it is. Ranged attack. Back to melee. Rooted again. Range. Ranged attack, back to melee. And as soon as you see it, you guys, you see him clicking on the boss and going right back to protect for melee. You can turn on per I don't recommend turning on protect for melee right away until you're already running at the boss to avoid getting hit with another ranged attack. And there it is, another Seracnus kill down. They are just flying through. I might have, I should have brought more prayer pots, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. And look at this, he's dropping potatoes. This is heals for days. Heals for days. Another tattered sun page. All right. This might be the last kill of the run just because I'm running out of prayer, actually. Oh, look at that. I took some decent damage. You can put those egg potatoes to use. Egg potatoes? Are they spider egg potatoes? Oh, God. I ain't eating that. I don't even know if I want to sell that on the Grand Exchange. Spider egg potatoes? God, I feel bad if it ever ends up with those. Not even going to block these man these ranged attacks. Just gonna leave protect for melee on. You can totally just soak through all the damage. Not recommended, as you can see, not dodging the ranged attacks. I am taking quite a bit more damage here. We're actually going to go ahead and dodge this one. Running out of supplies slowly but surely. Back to regular. Or regular, back to melee. And just keeping it going. Another hiss attack. Protect from range. And back to him with protect from melee. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be another Seracnus kill down. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, it's not. We weren't lucky. I'm going to have to go through another ranged phase. And there it is. Go ahead and just top off. Oh, look at that. Nine battle staffs. 71k. Ah, uh, we can get another kill in. We can get another kill in. We have enough... We got enough supplies. Come on, we can take him down. We got this. Out of prayer pots. Let's stop hitting some zeros. Come on now. Why so many zeros? RNG is not with me. It decided you can't kill Seracnus again. There we go. Breaking the zero streak. Keep it going. Protect from a range against that ranged attack, then back to protect from melee. Super quick swap. Not even that quick. You have all the time in the world on it. Look at that. Taking my sweet time. There it is, ranged attack and back to melee. All the time in the world. I don't know why I said quick swap. It's not quick at all. You got plenty of time, folks. Don't let, don't let yourself get worried about it. Easy fight. All right, we're gonna turn off piety because we're running out of prayer. 
I'm gonna soak that ranged attack. Let's keep it moving. We only got six, five prayer left. Come on, we can get one more kill this run, can't we? Be embarrassing if I died here, wouldn't it? Come on, three health. There it is, another Seracnus kill down with almost no prayer left. And the prayer is empty. 37 adamantite ore for another 35k. Alright, let's go ahead and exit the boss room and teleport back to Zarek's glade. Give this little rub on Zarek's talisman and back to the glade. From the Glade, guys, it is super simple, super easy. You can just run over here, and look at this. You're at the altar. I have zero prayer points right now, and I'm going back to full. You're not going to have to waste any prayer pots. Boom, back to full prayer. Ideally, if you don't even want to use prayer pots in your inventory setup, and you have high enough prayer to just kill him once and bank and prayer and bank and prayer and bank back and forth between the altar and bank and killing him, I say go ahead and do it. More power to you saving money. Let's take a little look at the loot tracker, see what we got from Seracnus. This is about an hour of killing Seracnus. Not bad, not bad at all. In one hour, we have managed to get 1.4 million worth of loot, and I did take a break in there. I was not being super efficient while going. So, I mean, 1 mil an hour, 1.5 mil an hour. You could probably honestly get up to 2 or 3 mil an hour here if you were more efficient than I was. Great entry level boss, chance at a pet, there's some uniques on the drop table, and you also have combat challenges you can knock out for those combat achievements and getting your next hilt. But uh, yeah, thank you all for joining me and hanging out for this wonderful Seracnus guide. I had a blast making it. If you guys would like to see any more RuneScape content or any other boss guides, just let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any tips or tricks on how to improve my current guides, that'd also be super useful. So just let me know, guys. As always, game on, my friends, and I'll see you next time.